Alright guys, so due to a software issue yesterday where my video got really compressed and like the aspect ratio was all off and it cropped off uh, portions of the video, I decided to just halfway remake this video plus add two extra books because after I had finished shooting my the video yesterday, I got two more books in the mail and one of them is more like a cautionary tale, but I can get to, to that later, but right now I just kind of wanted to go ahead and sp speed run this one just to have like a better glimpse of the books that I bought so we're just gonna redo it over with a uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle special 11 uh, April O'Neil gets turned into a Ninja Turtle uh, the problem with this book is that it was falsely advertised and I put in a complaint so what would have been a twenty dollar loss I just ended up paying ten dollars which for the condition it's pretty I guess it's worth it to me and then uh, the error variant of the second series Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 13 that was the second online purchase I got the final issue of the original image run issue number 23 that's a very hard to find book I got a Adam Hughes cover Legionnaires number 16 newsstand if you watch my other video, at this point I'm just trying to hunt down the DC Universe logo variant. I got the pray through to Miles Morales and Ultimate Fallout number 3. That's not really the best condition, but nobody's really passing up Miles Morales books. Static number 16, a newsstand. Uh, a convention exclusive Batman Rebirth number 1, a foil variant. A Dark Rain Punisher number one variant, an homage to his first appearance in Spider Man, the first appearance of Lady Spellbinder, a uh, newsstand, Flash number 159, Wally West getting married to Linda Park, Batman Beyond number eight, technically the first appearance of Vendetta in a newsstand, Batman Beyond number nine, first appearance of Kirari newsstand. Superman Adventures number 39, nothing special, just a newsstand. Uh, Super Friends number 8, the first appearance of Jack O' Lantern. Weird Mystery Tales number 6, it's just a cover graph for the Halloween season. Bizarro and Reverse Flash Racing is an homage to the all the other issues where Flash and Superman are racing each other. Action Comics number 894, one of Death's first appearances in continuity. A Justice League of America number 50 variant, not the best condition. Is that spine roll? Uh, apparently, a little bit more research. Uh, Matt Gargan becomes the third Venom in this issue. Spider Man Marvel Knights number 10. This one was just a cover grab. Web of Spider Man number 37. And after the video, I managed to do a little bit more research on this. Uh, Batman issue number 415. Uh, this is apparently the first modern appearance of Edward Nigma, But he's not actually called Edward Nigma. He's called uh, Edward Nash. And this is before he manages to change his name to Edward Nigma and officially become the Riddler in post-crisis. I'm at, uh, Superboy number 15, autographed by the inker Andy Parks and a DC Universe logo variant. Superman number 16, uh, Supergirl as the Matrix, and a Dynamic Forces variant of Street Fighter number 1. Convergence Aquaman number 2, the first appearance of the new uh, Dr. Fate. Superboy number 5, a DC Universe logo variant. Steel number 4, DC Universe logo variant. Justice League Dark number 9, the new Black Orchid and John Constantine joins the team. Countdown number 31, this alludes to the three Jokers pre Justice League number 50. Earth 2 number 1. Uh, Alan Scott reintroduced in the modern age. He's going to be in the HBO series. And this was a hot book for a second. Legion of Superheroes number six. 
and some Spider-Verse uh, spec. Uh, Felicia Hardy as the Spider-Woman, even though Gwen Stacy basically holds that mantle now. Uh, Spider-Girl number 45 and her first costume appearance at number 46. Some Batman New 52 Court of Owls pickups, number 2. 4. Combo Pack, number 5, but it's not in the poly bag. Death of the Family, number 14. And the first Bluebird, and number 28. And the next two books were the mail calls that I got after I had shot the video. And I kind of fell into the hype and I panicked, bought this next one. And I kind of misread the listing on it. And I kind of regret it, but in the condition, I I pretty much paid what it goes for. It's a Green Lantern 51, a DC Universe logo variant. And it is a 9.8 candidate, but I had misread it as the second printing of the DC Universe logo variant, which that one can actually go for big bucks because it's a lot harder to find. But this was just like the original since it doesn't have uh, the number Roman number 2 under the the price. So I'm kind of kicking myself over that. And this kind of plays into why I don't really do online shopping. Because most of the time uh, sellers try to take advantage of, well even sometimes quote unquote experts like me. And then this next book I saw... Uh, Beauty Comics show off the final issue, which can actually go for big bucks, but with my stupid self, I decided to go shopping on an online marketplace that doesn't really have that good of a reputation, but I decided to bite the bullet, and like, I bought this book over a month ago, and it's barely just getting here. I don't really want to name the website because I don't want to give them attention or be responsible if like something happens to you guys if you happen to shop by there. But one thing that I don't agree with is when you make a best offer and they choose to accept it, they send you out this little contract that if you receive a voicemail on their behalf, then it's a legally binding contract and you have to abide by everything posted on the invoice. But one thing that got me is that I managed to talk them down because the original listing price for it was $70 and I offered 30 But then they added $15 shipping, a 2% consignment fee, shipping, handling, and processing a fee. And then in the end, I ended up spending damn near what the, they originally wanted for the book anyway. And it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 71 from the Archie series. And I would have, this is a hard to find book, but I rather would have paid the $30 that we agreed upon instead of them adding all those fees on top of everything. But... Yeah, hopefully, like, this is of much better quality than what I shot the first video, and I just hope you guys are just out there hunting, and take care.